Never Stop Learning, week 235. We're going to take a quick look at distribute spacing in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015. All right, so here I've got some text laid out. And when I select it, you could tell that it's been uh, converted to outlines. Now, the reason I did that is so the Illustrator could just look at this as different shapes, anchor points, and paths. I'm going to double click on my artwork. And now we're in isolation mode. So it's kind of like I'm inside the group. That means I could target each one of these guys individually. Now, when I select a couple of these objects at the same time, I have access to this link over here that says Align. Clicking on it is going to give me the Align panel. So we see Align to Objects, Distribute Objects, and Distribute Spacing. All right, I'm going to hit Escape to get out of that. Another way to work is going into the Window menu, scrolling down to find Align. And when you click on that, it's going to bring up the Align panel for you. Now, currently, you don't see Distribute Spacing, but you can come over here to the right in the Flyout menu choose show options. And remember when you're working with your panels, you could always click on this little double arrow at the top. Every time you click on it, it's either going to contract or expand depending on how much information is already visible. All right, now we see distribute spacing. Before I get into that, I want to show you why I started looking at distribute spacing. Over here we have distribute objects. Now I chose this feature here, horizontal distribute center. And when I clicked on it, I ended up getting this result here. And this wasn't exactly what I thought I was going to get. Notice this gap over here between the B and the E. Now, this is actually accurate. And I'll show you why it's accurate really quick. I'm going to go into the Window menu, scroll down to Attributes. And again, over here in the tab, you can click on the double arrow to change what information is being shown over here for your panel. I'm going to switch over to this guy here, Show Center. When you click on it, it's showing us that each one of these objects has this center point, And those guys are distributed perfectly. All right, so when we choose distribute objects, we're looking at these center points here. All right, I'm going to get rid of the center point and the panel. Now what we want is this feature here, distribute spacing. You got two different ways to work here. You got this one, which is vertical distribute, which would be if we were going to distribute this vertically. But since I'm working with horizontal artwork, I'm going to go with this guy here, Horizontal Distribute Space. When I click on it, it's going to distribute all my objects evenly. I'm going to deselect so you can get a better look at that. All right, so now all these gaps are exactly the same. I'm going to select all of these guys again. Notice the next feature is actually kind of dimmed out. Well, in order for us to specify a new value, we actually have to designate a key object. So I'm going to show you how to do that in a sec. Over here, we have Align 2. And when you click on this little drop down menu, we can align to selection, align a key object, or align to artboard. Now, if you choose align a key object, Illustrator is going to pick a key object for you. I'm going to show you how to choose one yourself. All right, so I'm going to hit escape. What you want to do is have a selection already, and then find out which object you want as your key object. I'm going to go with this first object here on the left. I'll click on it. Now you see it has this uh, highlight over here or a double selection. That's the key object. Over here in the panel, notice we have access to this guy here. It says zero pixels currently. So if I click on this, it's going to give us a zero pixel gap in between each one of these uh, shapes. All right, you could also introduce a new value. So I'm going to go with 10 and hit return. All right, notice nothing changes in my artwork. That's because you have to tell Illustrator, do you want to distribute it vertically or do you want to distribute it horizontally? Click on horizontal and notice we have a 10 pixel gap in between each one of these letters. Now, this isn't the best way to take care of your tracking, but this is a great way for you to have control over the spacing of your objects. All right, I'm going to select all these guys again. I'm going to create a key object by clicking on the letter A. Then back over here, remember, if you change the value and then accept that change, Nothing's going to happen to your artwork. You have to tell Illustrator how you want to distribute it. Then you'll see it updated on your artboard. And there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at distribute spacing in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015.